Hi everyone, so this is probably the most requested video because most people show you how to create a digital planner but it's usually under 200 pages and that is because if you don't use InDesign, if you want to use a free program, it's kind of tricky to do that. Canva, I mean, it's probably less than 200 pages so it's a pain when you want to create hyperlinks and then you get to 200 pages and you can't. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can still do that without InDesign completely for free. And I'm so excited to share this because honestly, this was a challenge to find. Okay, so let's get started with the design and I've chosen Canva for this because it's obviously what most people feel comfortable with. So we're gonna click create a design and then you can type in US letter and just choose this size, which is 8.5, 11 inches for a portrait planner. But if you want a horizontal planner, then we're gonna choose custom size and we're gonna type in 11 to eight, sorry, first we're gonna choose inches. Then we're gonna type in 11 to 8.5 inches and we're gonna click create a new design. Now that our page is ready, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use templates. So I'm gonna go to design and type in planner index, which has this particular template that I like. Now I'm just gonna click on it and choose my first page. I get this question a lot and it is whether or not you can use these designs to sell on Etsy. And the answer is yes. The most important thing is that you make changes to them. Obviously you can't sell the same template, but you can make them different and then sell them. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to elements. I'm gonna type in puppy, choose photos, and then just choose the puppy picture I like. I like this one, so I'm gonna add it here. Now I can change the fonts. I can change the titles. Okay, next step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add more pages. So I'm gonna go back to design and then click new page and then add the first page. This is January and I'm gonna add all 12 months here. So just new page and new page three and just do it with all of them now if you're going to use an undated planner in that case i would just create one page one template so i would remove all these numbers and just do that but in my case it's not undated so we're gonna do it like this now that you have added all of the monthly pages what we need is uh, daily view weekly and yearly so i'm just gonna go ahead and create a new page and then go here and type in yearly calendar 2023 and then just choose the calendar that i like so i like this one and then i'm gonna select all of the text and just make it black and also i'm gonna change the font to garrett also gonna make sure that it's there's no italics here and i'm gonna decrease the size because some of the numbers were not fitting so that's it we have this done one thing i will mention also is that when i create my first planner idea i created in black and white so that makes my process a lot faster and then after i'm done with that and you know just chose all the shapes and forms then i create a color planner so we have a yearly page we need a monthly page also so we have a yearly page we need a weekly page also so i'm just gonna type in weekly planner and then just choose the one i like i'm gonna delete these elements and I'm gonna make it black and white, change the font to Garrett, so I'm just selecting everything and then choose Garrett, then choose color black and here we have the view. Now another thing I'm gonna mention is that I want to create multiple weekly planner pages so people can choose, so I'm just gonna choose one more and then add this one for example, delete this, uh, make it black, delete this part and then these ones i don't like so i'm going to delete them and then also i'm going to change the font to garrett so it matches the whole thing so we have this one thing i've noticed is that they don't really have many daily planners over here so what we're going to do is that we're going to go to templates and then over here you type in daily planner and then just choose the daily planner that you like let's say i like this one this one is free i'm going to customize it and i'm going to decrease the size I don't like this shape, so we're gonna delete that. If you don't like some other shapes, you can delete them as well. So let's make it even more minimalist. And here we go, we have it. I'm gonna delete the background and here I have my daily planner. Then I'm just gonna select everything and then I'm gonna go back to this planner and I'm gonna just paste it over here. And then I can choose what I do with it. Maybe you want to have multiple days here, but I'm gonna do it like that. 
and then I'm gonna go ahead and add a to-do list so it has two sides to it so I'm gonna choose let's say this one and then I'm gonna customize this template again same thing select everything change the colors always make it black this one I'm gonna make black and then I'm gonna make sure the fonts are right Garrett um, if there's something you don't like you delete that so let's say these ones feel strong I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna delete this page and I'm gonna make so I'm gonna paste it now and we're gonna resize to match move it to the side this still feels a little big so I'm just gonna make it smaller and then I'm gonna delete these don't need the dates because they already have them don't need the dates I just need a to-do list and then another one we can change to something else so we can maybe do this one customize so I have one I'm gonna do another one and then add this one again we're gonna select everything change it to black and one thing we can add is bullet, bullet journal so we have the grids so i'm gonna customize this template and then i'm gonna paste it over here so now that we're ready with the view one thing that's missing is our index page which should appear here so i like to have my yearly view also in the beginning of the planner these ones i keep at the end and then one thing i need is an index page which i usually have as a second page but this is your preference also so i'm gonna add text I'm gonna add a heading i'm gonna make sure that this is my font and then i'm gonna resize it and type in index then I'm gonna move it, copy, and then I'm gonna say yearly, I'm gonna say monthly, I'm gonna say weekly, and I'm gonna say daily. And then I'm gonna select everything, move them to the side, make them a little smaller, and I'm gonna add spacing like this. So this is my index, you can obviously add more things to it but that's all i'm gonna add so now that we're done with the template as you can see i have 21 pages so i have an index page yearly page monthly pages and daily pages i don't create each individual page i just create the designs that we're going to use and then we can repeat those designs endlessly so now let's download this okay and now for the good part so we're going to download the program which is called libreoffice it's basically the same as powerpoint if you do have PowerPoint, so you can just use that, but obviously PowerPoint is not free, so that's why in this video we're going to use LibreOffice, but the principle is really the same. Are you going to let me work? Little cute boy. But I need my laptop boy. Let's try this. Let's try to work with the puppy. Okay. No, get off. Off. You're biting me? That's enough. No. So the free version is going to be to download LibreOffice. So just go to this website. I'm going to link it in the description as well. And then choose your system and click download. Okay, so let's go to the program. Make sure that the planner is extracted as well. So we have it ready. And then we go to LibreOffice. And then I'm going to choose presentation. So as you can see, this is really, really similar to Excel, Words, and PowerPoint. Basically the same thing, just free. So we're going to click this. And I'm not going to use a template, so I'm going to click close. So now the biggest thing is to change the page size. So I'm going to just delete these because I don't need them. And then I'm going to go to slide, slide properties, and I'm going to change the size. So here I'm just going to choose letter because that's what I chose. Make sure it's landscape. And then these, I'm just going to make them zero. Unless you want to print this out, I would recommend you do the same because it's just going to add one centimeter around and you don't want that. So I'm just going to delete all of this and then click OK. Now that we have our page correct size, we can start uploading our planner. I have the first page. I'm going to click insert image. If you can't see this part, just click over here to properties or you can use the shortcut. And then I click insert image and then I go to my planner and click the first image. And here we go. Now we're going to add all our pages like the same way. So I'm just going to copy and paste the slide. You can do it either right click, copy and paste or shortcuts. And then I'm going to use insert page and choose two. Now, it was very important that you chose the 
to create a planner in a certain strategy so you know you made sure that the first page is covered the second page is your index page sec third page is your yearly page then all the monthly pages because it's going to make it a lot easier for you to upload all the slides so as you can see i know that slide three is my slide three on canva so it's the same thing and then I'm just gonna repeat the process. Another thing I wanna mention to you is that I choose to insert the image this way because then I can't edit the document and it's always nice to have the background that you don't move and don't mess around when you want to add other elements. So I'm gonna insert the image, choose slide five, and again, I'm gonna speed this process up and come back to you once I'm done so you don't have to go through this with me. Now, one more thing I'm going to mention is that maybe your slide view is like this. So I recommend that you make it bigger so you really see what's going on here when you're uploading it. And that makes it a lot easier for you to, you know, just choose the right slides. Um, even though I have the numbers, but like sometimes some people don't. So in that case, you just need to know which slide is which. Okay. Now that I'm done with all my slides, I've uploaded all of them. Now I can finally create the hyperlinks. So we're going to go to index and then here I'm going to add this square rectangle. I'm going to make sure that to choose the size I need for the text. So that's it and double click it and just type in 2023. And then now we can change the colors of this. So I'm going to select the shape and then here i'm gonna choose none and then with this one i'm just gonna make it 100 transparency so you can't see the line and here it is we have it ready you can also always resize the shape if you want so that's not a problem but the most important thing is that it's transparent now i'm gonna copy and paste the same thing i'm gonna move it to monthly and then over here i'm gonna say 0102 so basically just type in all the months and as you can see the shape is on the correct size so i'm just gonna drag it here so it fits and i'm gonna make it do the side and then something i added enter or something so here we have the months as well and then if you don't like the color of this you can always change it over here so make sure it's black and make sure it's transparent and i'm gonna add one more copy and move it down to my weekly and i don't need it so big so i'm just gonna say layout number one layout number two and i'm gonna do the same for my daily so here we have our index let's add the hyperlinks so the first thing is i'm gonna select the text here then i'm gonna click insert and then i'm gonna choose hyperlink and then here you can add it to your Instagram, your website and things like that. So you would just add it here. But because we're choosing something inside the document, I'm just going to go ahead and click this. And then I'm going to click this one. Now I'm going to choose my yearly. So my yearly is slide three. So I'm just going to choose that. Click apply. Make sure to do this step. Make sure that it shows over here. And then just click OK. That's it. Usually it changes the color. So what we're going to do is we're going to select and then we're going to change it to black and we're going to make it transparent. Now we're going to do the same for monthly. I'm going to move it, move my slides a little bit. So again, you can make this smaller, you can make this bigger so you can really see. But I usually like to move it to the slide that I need so I really can see what I'm doing. So I need slide four in this case. And then I'm going to do the same insert, a hyperlink, and then go to document, choose and choose slide four, click apply and click OK. I'm going to do the same with all of them. Okay, so now that you're done, one thing you need to do is to check if everything's correct before we move any further. So what you're going to do is just hover with your mouse and then you can see slide three, slide four, and just check every slide like this. So just by hovering on it and making sure that everything's okay. So now that everything's fine, what we can do is we can add those nice tabs on the side. The way we're going to do this is we're going to go to our index page and then we're going to choose master view. And then over here, we're going to add the tabs. The way you add the tabs is the same. You just add the rectangles that you need. So I'm just going to add first, I'm going to add six. So copy and move them. If you click shift, it moves faster. So just letting you know.
Now that I've created six of them, I'm just going to select all of them and then I'm going to copy and paste and move them with shift and then add one more for my index page. Now that we have all of them, I'm going to select all of them and I'm just going to drag them to fit the size that I want. Now we can change the color of this, so I'm going to choose a light gray and I'm also going to choose the line color, so custom and then let's say I want them white. So here we have our tabs ready. Now what we need is to add text, so I'm going to type in here and I'm going to just do the symbol for index and then we can also make the size smaller, so I'm going to say I'm going to use 18. I'm going to copy this and paste it because then it just keeps the formatting and I feel like this should be a little smaller, so I'm going to copy this and paste it change the number so i do it so that i don't have to constantly change the fonts but they always stay the same okay perfect now that we're done with this we can add the hyperlinks here so again what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select this and i'm gonna say insert hyperlink and then choose document and then choose where my index page is now the tricky part is to remember which page is which you can always change the names of this um, but I know specifically that my index page is slide 2, so I'm going to click apply and OK. And then I'm going to change at these as well. You can always exit the view to see, so you would just click close master view to see where everything is. So I know that slide 1 is this, slide 2 is this, and then I know that my months start from slide 4. So I'm going to go back to my master view and then I'm going to choose this and then I'm going to add the hyperlink by going to slide 4, apply, click OK, and then I'm just going to add all of them. Okay, now that I'm done, I can close my master view. And one important thing I want to tell you is that if you don't want the tabs to show up, for example, on your cover page, what you can do is just remove master objects and that's it. So very easy. And so now it only shows up on these pages, but not on this one. And now that we're done with the planner, we need to export it. So we're just going to click file export as PDF and then choose the settings you want. So for example, if you're not going to print this, then I would recommend that you reduce the resolution size at least to 150 or probably even more. And I'm going to export. And now I'm going to show you how it looks like on GoodNotes. So you can use it on GoodNotes and other apps as well. Um, let's just upload it. So I'm going to click plus, import. Okay, so this is how our planner looks like. We make sure that we choose the links so we can click on them. I'm going to go to the index page and I can go to all the links and see them and click on all the tabs over here. Can also always go back to my index page and then go to the monthly view. The client can always duplicate this layout. So let's say I create a new page and I'm going to just use current templates. I'm going to choose this one and then I have as many weekly pages as possible. I hope that this video is helpful. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. I will make sure to try and answer to all of them. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.